part two of our mini Edward Kern series. I hope I pronounced it right. Edward Kern, as a reminder, was a watchmaker from the mid 19th century, spent 32 years with Patek Philippe, then went on his own. I believe one more generation took over the brand name and then the brand name uh, disappeared only to be revived recently by a family owned business in La Chaux de Fonds. So in the first video, we took a look here on the left at the sportier, beautiful Tempest 2. But uh, in this video, we're going to focus on a watch that uh, brings together my two favorite complications, a, a world timer display or universal time display and an alarm function. This is the uh, World Heritage 2, the second version of uh, this, uh, this uh, brand new model by Edward Kuhn. I think the first version uh, bared more than a resemblance with the uh, Jeger Le Coultre Memovox International, a watch that I used to own. But this one with this uh, view from the North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere uh, really takes a brand new dimension, especially with the beautiful surrounding guilloche uh, finish here in uh, ice blue. Different colors available. I really love uh, this one. The movement is uh, built by uh, La Chaux de Fonds uh, Concepto. This is a limited edition in titanium of uh, 88 pieces, 50 meters of water resistance, 42 millimeters of diameter, and 14.5 uh, millimeters in height. But just like the Rolex Milgauss, for example, this uh, height is, uh, is pared down by this uh, rounded construction. And I think the watch wears uh, gloriously on the, the wrist. You have a double-sided anti-reflective uh, coating on the sapphire crystal silver crystal at the back of course it's automatic and 50 meters of water resistance the movement runs at 4 hertz 31 joules the uh as you can see here the uh rotor is on a ceramic ball bearings and you have 48 hours of power and yes the watch is loomed you can wear it at night there you go just a beautiful effect with this uh Guilloche ice blue dial. You get an uh, alligator strap with uh, with this watch, and a single deployant clasp. On the wrist, the watch wears impeccably. On my uh, 17 centimeter wrist, and now let's look at the functions of the watch. This crown will govern the uh, alarm as indicated here, while this one will govern the uh, timing functions. You can wind the watch and this crown here will adjust the time. You can see the disc every hour will uh, change. So basically you set the, 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 the time and if you have traveled, if you're not in Sydney, let's say you are in Tokyo, you just adjust the disc to Tokyo. Let's say you're in Karachi. You adjust the disc and now you can read the time on the surrounded disc on a 24 hour scale, three at night in La Paz, for example day and night indication and of course let's wind it here you wind a spring for the uh, alarm which is a cricket style alarm so basically let's set the alarm for four o'clock for a meeting wind it of course you have to pull the crown and when the time gets to four o'clock, and you can stop the alarm by just pushing the crown. So that's how it works for this uh, alarm. Always a bit uh, funny to play with in the in the beginning, and uh, great if you're a forgetful person like me. It's a very useful complication. Uh, really a great watch for for the office for every day. 50 meters of water resistance. You're pretty safe with it. Uh, if it uh, if it rains, 
there you go really a gorgeous gorgeous piece gorgeous reintroduction of uh, this uh, great name of uh, watchmaking edward kern and of course you can discover pricing and uh, all the details in the description this watch is on loan from an independent watcher here in hong kong independent uh, watcher uh, you can order your edward kern in whichever color you like really uh, exciting exciting brand to um, to watch out for bye bye guys <laughs>